Get short URL HTTPS colon slash slash ON.RT.com slash 99K4 Russian striker Artem Dezuba bid a tearful farewell to the World Cup after the hosts were eliminated by Croatia on penalties, saying the team wanted to show football is alive in Russia. The World Cup hosts bowed out in the quarterfinals after losing 4-3 on penalties to Croatia, following a thrilling 120 minutes of football in which the scores finished level at 2-2. Striker Dezuba has been one of the heroes at the heart of Russia's fairy tale World Cup run, being recalled to the squad after refining his form at the end of the club season. He ended the tournament with three goals to his name, scoring in the opening game win over the Saudis, the subsequent game against Egypt and a penalty to level the scores against Spain in the shock last 16 win. However, Kazuba and the team fell agonizingly short at the last eight stage, despite running a heavily fancied Croatia team extremely close. A tearful Dezuba spoke to Russia's Channel 1 after the game to share his emotions on the team's World Cup campaign. First of all, I want to thank the team, to everyone who took part in the team I'm proud of them, I love them like my family, we became one family, the 29-year-old said. Twitter.com slash rp1bnv3nz3 at Team Russia, July 7, 2018 Russia had gone into the World Cup on a run of seven games without a win and as the lowest-ranked team in the tournament. Many in the press had predicted embarrassment for the team and a potential group stage exit, but Stanislav Shershasov's men proved the doubters wrong by going on a run to make the nation proud. Zuba said the team had wanted to show that football was alive and well in Russia. We wanted to show the whole country, we wanted them to be proud of us, to show that football is alive. Russia were cheered on by raucous home support in front of 44,000 fans in Sochi on Sunday, as they have been at the stadiums they've played at throughout their home tournament. Choking back tears, Dezuba thanked the fans who had supported the team. We're grateful for the emotions, our hearts are broken, but thank you to everyone who supported us, he said, before breaking off the interview. Russia have bowed out, but with their heads held high, while Croatia go on to face England in the semi-final in Moscow on Wednesday.